Hey guys, my name is Joshua Chavez, and today I got a request for any of you guys who are experts with the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi came out a couple years ago, or a few years ago, and um, I'm loving it. I really love my Raspberry Pi. I got it um, like about a month ago. I'm really loving it. I got it boot up and everything, as you can see. But I'm having some trouble with it. Actually, not really trouble. I'm just having some questions. The really hard part was booting it up. Like, I might not have the right connector because I see just have a regular standard TV, but I need but I need a, a really special cord because I see the Model B came with a composite, but this one comes the B plus and the A plus. Um, they don't come with like the little thing that you can just connect it easily. You need a special cable, but with HDMI it works perfectly fine. And I got an HD TV now. Sorry about that. So, I have a couple questions for you guys, and any of you YouTubers out there, if you know this, can you please tell me? I really need lots of help. I thought I knew the Raspberry Pi, but I guess I don't. So, there are a couple of questions I have. Um, I'm going to be building a portable, and I really need lots and lots of help. Um, so the first question is, what are the GPIOs? Like, what are they really used for? I know they're used for inputs, outputs, to control LEDs and stuff. You can, but the question I'm looking for is how do you control stuff with like how do you add controls to it? Cause people do that, and I'm wondering, like, how do you take a control like this? It actually looks pretty fun. I would get an SNES controller, but if I could use this, I actually be okay with it. So, like, how do you wire a controller to it? And like stuff, and how to like make it to where the Raspberry Pi would imp like it would take all the inputs. Another one is say this motor it actually works like if I connect it to a USB. Well, what if I want to connect it to the Raspberry Pi? Now I know there are tutori tutorials on um this stuff like how to connect the LED to it and then you can make it flicker and stuff. But you need a resistor. Do you really need a resistor or is it just you know? Do you need a resistor for this thing? And also, there's one more thing. Um, I wish I could show you, but I don't... Okay, when you take apart a controller, like, you see these, like, you know, for the buttons right here? They usually have this thing, like, this circle, where, like, you, when you press it, it pushes it down, and then the contacts will be put together, and then, like, it will send the input to whatever you're playing with. What if, what if I, like, how do I take a D-pad and then, like, replace it with the analog stick? You know what I'm talking about, like a Xbox 360 joystick? Well, how would I, um, replace this, the D-pad, with the joystick? Because I think the joystick will be a lot better, because I like joysticks better. So how do I do that? And, um, I do have a lot of more questions, but one more. Um, maybe anyone could give me a soldering tutorial, um, or anyone could show me how to cut a, um, c controller in half, and then, um, rewire it so one could be on one side, and one, one part of it could be on the other side. So thank you guys for watching this video, and if any of you guys could give me help, like, maybe in the comments below, you could give me, like, if you even could make a video, and, like, um, put it in the comments, like, put a link to it, and I'll watch it. I'll, I'll totally watch it. I'll follow the tutorials on how to do all that stuff. So, basically, I need help with the GPIO, eye controller to the GPIO, and that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys will, um, help me. Um, love you guys, and, um, watch my other videos. See you guys. Bye.